Hello, this video is going to be about controlling the velocity coming out of a matrix pattern sequencer uh, live and without any automation, just by using the CB1. Here is the uh, song setup that we're going to use. Uh, basic matrix sequencer plugged into a subtractor. There's also some drums behind and let's listen to it. So the loop that we're going to modify is the uh, synth lead that you're hearing in the foreground. Uh, for now there's some velocity changes inside the loop, but not from loop to loop. So to do so, we're just going to insert a vault CB1 just after the matrix. And if we go to the back panel, we can see that there are two signals coming out from the matrix, a node CV and a gate CV. It's the gate CV that is sending the velocity, so this is the signal that we're going to modify through the Vault CB1. So we plug the output of the CB1 into the gate of the subtractor and the output of the gate from the matrix into one of the inputs of the CB1. We're not going to use two inputs because we're just modifying one signal, we're not combining two of them. So if we go back to the front panel and launch the loop, you can see that the output here on the meter seems half of the input. That's because we're using the average combining. And since the second input is zero, we're basically dividing by two uh, the input. So if we want to use the input as the output, we just have to move the mix button here fully to A. And now you can see that the output is exactly the input you can actually hear it too. So now we can control the intensity of the output and the input just by modifying the A multiplier, which is basically a multiplication applied to the input. So if I go back to zero, you can hear the velocity going down. You can actually see it too on the metering. And same thing if I go above one, I'm actually doubling the velocity. It's that simple.